Hi, I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design, and today I'm going to talk about uh, stove designs. And uh, first off, I want to introduce you to my new lathe. This lathe is uh, a Chinese lathe. It's sold by Bolton Tools. It's model CQ9332. You can look it up on the internet at Bolton Tools. They sell a lot of different stuff, and they also sell several different lathes. Uh, this is a, a medium-sized lathe. It's uh, 12 by 24. Now, uh, I, I've named this lathe Blondie. And the reason why I've done that is where I used to work at Osram, uh, in the back of their machine shop, they had a lathe back there, which is probably at least four times as big as this one. Really big, huge engine lathe uh, that they did big work on. And it had a certain feel about it, the way the chuck uh, cycles and the tool holders and just the general look of it and the way it sounded. And this lathe, although nowhere near that big, could be its little brother. It, uh, it really reminds me of that LeBlanc lathe, which was a really nice lathe. And this is, surprisingly for a Chinese lathe, is, is quite a nice lathe. doesn't have much in the way of safety features, but uh, if you're careful, it can be a nice lathe. And it has infinitely more capability than any of these small benchtop lathes that I've been working on, although this is a benchtop too. Uh, and this is going to allow me to do some things that I couldn't even begin to do with my other lathes. So, uh, let's take a look at what I'm up to. Okay, here's one of my small lathes, and to give you an idea of the difference between my new lathe, Blondie, and this one, which is named Charlie, here is uh, the tool holder from Charlie, and here's the tool holder from Blondie. So you can see uh, <laughs> the difference in magnitude of what, what the sizes are between the two of them. Uh, second off, let's look at what I'm up to here. Now, uh, this is one of the ideas I had. And... Uh, this is that little fat stove that looks like a troll. And it's pushed inside of uh, a mini remote. And then put into a canister. Which makes for a, a neat little cooking system. But let's look at the stove because that's where the story is. Okay. Now, <clears throat> this has three of the large wicks in it, which would be equal to nine of the small wicks. Uh, so this is equal to three of the original single burner voodoos or three solos. So you can see the amount of heat this produces is, is quite a bit more than anything I've built before for this size. Now this stove is very simple. It's simply turned down into here and then bored in the center so you get the shoulder for the wick holder to snap onto. And, that, and for a single burner you're in. Now what I was going to do was I was just going to keep going with bigger and bigger uh, silicone tubes and bigger bodies. But uh, that has limitations especially if you don't want to burn all three uh, burners at the same time. Now with the new Blondie lathe I can go in and cut a groove, as you can see here, and then bore the center of it. And because of that, I can go to uh, more than one burner. You can do this with one burner on the outside turning in, but when you go to multiple burners, like I'm going to do with this, uh, you have to actually, to get the standoff, you actually have to... Uh, turn a separate piece and press it in, and, and that is time consuming, it's an expensive project. You're talking a press fit, potential for a leak or a poor fit, a uh, lot more work, a lot more material. Now what I'm thinking of with this is, if you can see this is one of the large silicone tubes for that troll type stove. I've got room enough here, I believe, for four of these on this one disc, which is actually has a smaller diameter than, than the defunct nylon. So with this, with the potential for four of these burners and three of the large wicks is equal to nine of the small wicks, that would be equal to 
36 of the small wicks or 12 of the big wicks all in one stove. Now if this is done correctly you should be able to burn one, two, three, or four burners. Uh, so this gives you quite a bit of potential for a lot of heat or a little heat in a very small package. Now this will have to be put in a lathe and with a four jaw chuck so instead of running on center I can run it off center and cut here and then turn it and cut here where the, the disc will actually be turning off center so I can bore in four places and put this in four places and then bore through the center. Uh, this is I'm capable of doing this with Blondie no problem I've tested and it works fine but with the small lays here these small lays uh, not so much they just are not rigid enough to do that kind of work they just uh, just not capable of it so until I got Blondie I was not capable of doing this and this is one reason why I've kind of held off on the Cinco project because uh, the Cinco is going to turn into the uh, Quattro I think for large burners but it'll have huge heat when I get done so I'm going to try this on whether it'll work or not but um, that's what I'm up to and if it does work I will uh, probably go through the whole stove line and, and revamp everything the way I build it and the amount and it, what it will make is a stove that's lighter uh, less complicated and hotter uh, and that's a good thing so I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design get out and hike Take a friend, and more important than anything, have a great day. Bye-bye.